Hi everyone, I am so excited for today's art video. One, I'm gonna be drawing with my favorite color, all the different supplies in my house. Okay, first of all, let me take you around and show you what I mean. I mean, mm hmm Yeah, I'm a little obsessed with turquoise. And anything minty, the color. So I happened to see Chloe Rose Art do this and I wanted to try too. She's amazing, by the way. Check out her art videos if you haven't yet. And also this is inspired by drawing with waffles because she did a great purple version. Before we start, comment below if you like your turquoise to be more on the blue side or the green side. Personally, I'm more of a like bluish turquoise. All right, let's get into it. I introduced to you the art supplies I'm gonna be using in this video. Okay, wait, hold on, try that again. This is not working. Okay, we're just gonna fake that the roll was aesthetically pleasing. Here they all are lined up. Oh, oh, I'm putting some on either side. And all right, enough of the nonsense. So you can see I'm gonna be using a wide variety of turquoisey, aqua, teal-ish colored markers, colored pencils, pens, uh, fine liners, various markers that you really wouldn't normally use in a regular drawing, such as um, a paint marker. Well, I mean, I guess you could, but fabric marker, definitely wouldn't normally use that on paper. And I have a ton of different brands, some stuff really old from my childhood. I have some crayons and watercolor paint and then some fabric paint and acrylic paint. This bottle's a little bit messed up because a couple years back my cat bit it. Now please, I hope no one calls PETA on me. He was fine. He didn't get sick or anything. I never expected my cat to bite a bottle of my acrylic paint. He's so mischievous sometimes. So here's the moment you have been waiting for, the sketch. I've sketched this in regular pencil and number two normal, nothing fancy, but I don't want any gray graphite colored lines to show through. So I'm gonna lighten these as much as I can with the eraser on the back of my pencil, which actually is a turquoisey color. Or did I say back of the pencil, I meant top. So I'm carefully doing that and making sure not to erase too much so I can't see my guidelines because I'm so out of practice that this sketch probably took me like two hours, not even gonna lie. I rarely draw people, so I'm very, very excited for this. I'm so happy to be practicing and challenging myself to create new art and things that are kind of outside of my comfort zone. After those lines are as light as I can possibly get them while still being able to see them, I'm starting with this Prismacolor colored pencil light aqua. So I'm going over all the outlines again with this and that'll be the base layer I guess of this drawing. If you want to critique this go right ahead just be very kind to me because I didn't really pay attention to the proportions as much as I should have. The head is a lot bigger but it's a stylized drawing and it's meant to be more cartoony than realistic. Also for the pose of the body, it might look a little bit unnatural, but this is actually a photo of me standing similarly to how I am posed in the drawing or how the girl is posed in the drawing. It's not really me. I looked up a crazy amount of reference images for this because I don't know how to just make up people off the top of my head. But I think that's something that we all should be doing if we don't know how to draw something. So Pinterest, Google Images, and Instagram were my best friends for this. Moving on to the next supply, I have this Recollections brush marker, which is probably, I want to say maybe my top favorite color. I know a lot of these colors are very similar, but this is like a true turquoise. Um, a lot of times a turquoise will be too minty, too green. I like when turquoise is more on the light blue side, but you can still tell that there's a minty uh, tone to it. I know my turquoise, I'm a little obsessed, okay. Call it what you want, but you can see that I'm coloring in the crop top with a texture. So instead of it looking like I just scribbled all over, I'm doing lines back and forth and it kind of looks like a striped tube top, not tube top cropped up. It does have little straps, so yeah, not a tube top. After that, I'm taking an old Crayola colored pencil from, I don't know if it was middle school maybe, um, we're gonna go with that, and I'm just darkening her eyebrows a little bit. I am gonna go over these again more toward the end and darken them again, but I kind of like to build up the color as I go. I get a little bit nervous to just start right away with the darkest of the dark. 
uh, so I do mid-tones and then go over them. I say this every time I draw eyebrows or do my makeup on camera, that eyebrows are sisters, not twins. I heard that years and years and years ago, you probably all know the saying, but you're not going to get them perfectly even, and even the eyes, I didn't get the eyes perfect, perfectly symmetrical and matched, so there's that. So I'm also going over the necklaces with this colored pencil and I just have two necklaces. I like the layered look and they just have a very basic roundish stone on them. Next is the Tombow Twin Tone Marker. It has a detailing end and a fine liner. With this one, I'm giving her a little boobage, a little shadow on her chest there. And actually, I'm very generous with this drawing because if it were me, um, yeah, I need to uh, reduce a cup size or two. Anyway, I also am using that for a little bit of the necklace. Then I'm moving on to this Pilot G2 gel pen because I really wanted to include some sort of pen in this, um, like ballpoint or gel. Um, all my old jelly rolls are still at my mom's house, I believe, so I don't have those to choose from, but this was a little bit too blue. I really just shouldn't have included it, but I found a great way to kind of cover that up and blend it more into the color scheme because, yeah, this just sticks out like a sore thumb and not turquoise at all. But I took this Metallic FX Crayola marker from also when I was a child, Illuminating Emerald. That's a beautiful name and it's sparkly, shimmery. The tip is a little bit big to get much detail on that small necklace. So I did take a colored pencil to try and scrape it off and get that on there. And I am also colored penciling around the hair to define that now. So this is a darker shade of turquoise, as you can probably tell. And I'm just doing the outline of the hair and then going through with lines to create some texture and make it look like she has different strands. Honestly, I should have spent a little bit more time on this because it's not exactly the way I wanted it to be, but I do think it still looks pretty good. Now we have this Papermate Flare Felt Tip Pen, and this is a really pretty color. It's going to be used to outline the shorts, and that's really all I did with it now, but it does come back later a little bit. Not sure if I showed it on camera, but yeah. I'm just trying to uh, use as many colors and products as I can. I thought it worked perfect for the jean shorts to give it a little bit darker of a tone, and here's an even darker marker. It's the Color In Brush Tip Marker, and this is a really deep, kind of tealy Teal? Yeah, I'll, I'll go with teal. I decided to finally take the plunge and color in the pupil of the eye, so that would be the darkest part on this drawing since, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice, okay, since that would be black in real life. I have been tracking all the colors that I use so far, so here is a little chart of everything, and this is great reference for me as well when I want to go back and use one of these again, so I know exactly which one to choose when I'm like, hey, I need a light tone, a medium tone, this dark tone, whatever. And I also did go over the eyelashes because we like mascara. Yeah, I like mascara and eyeliner. So I always like dark eye makeup. And here I am actually using the first colored pencil that I did for the outlines. I'm using that again. I decided to make the background a little bit interesting by putting some flowers and a moon. Now comes a really fun part. I really enjoyed adding paint to this. Mixed media pieces are always enjoyable for me. So I'm using this light color of acrylic paint. It's craft smart, it's really cheap, so I don't really use expensive paints. I mean, I do have some higher end art supplies like Copic markers, and, I mean, Tombos even are, like, mid-range price, but, like, I'm fine with using Crayola paints and Craft Smart. They work pretty well. So I'm gonna paint all the little flowers, and then with the paint that's really goopy, that's kind of dried out, it's being put to good use by just being the middle of every flower. So I'm putting a dot in every single one. Now, this is a really cool marker. This Recollections one is an opaque marker, so it kind of goes on, like, a paint marker. And, I don't know, it's kind of chalky in a way, but it's not going to rub off the page. And it has a little bit of texture and dimension to it. So I did that for the moon, and I think it looks pretty cool. And now some more paint. I have this Crayola watercolor palette. And I'm going to take that turquoise color in between the green and purple and water it down like crazy. I actually like got scared that I didn't water it down enough here. 
but I did end up darkening that even more. But the trick to watercolors is you don't wanna darken it all at once and put like a ton of water in one spot. You wanna do a layer and let it dry and then build up more color on it. Otherwise it will like leak everywhere and bleed. That's if you're using a lot of water. If you do wanna just go right in with the darkest tone first, go ahead. But yeah, I'm kind of just fading this out as best as I can and blending it. The skin was honestly one of the scariest parts for me. Yeah, this kind of stressed me out a little bit. Like most of the drawing I felt really good about. I didn't think I was gonna mess anything up. <clears throat> Gosh, sorry for my voice again. I've been a little bit pressurized this week, if that makes sense. There's been a lot of rain here in Ohio and with that comes pressure change and my head doesn't like that it was really clogged at the beginning of the week and then it started draining and it now i don't know i just uh, i still kind of feel it but i'm not like tired or anything today which is great so anyway back to the watercolor part shading the skin oh my gosh you guys drop me some reference images on twitter instagram um facebook i guess anywhere where you can share photos with me please do it um, give me some challenges of things that I can put in my sketchbook because I need some help with the shading. Like I know about light sources and where to put highlights and stuff, but I really didn't think about that for this. So yeah, this is just a new realm for me. Like I said, people never really draw them. So hopefully she doesn't look too muddy. Next, for all you Copic lovers, get excited. I am using one Copic marker in this and I did realize after I probably could have used another one that was a really light, light, light turquoise color. Here I'm using this in every hair section, like every hair chunk section gets a line of Copic marker. So it ended up looking like this. And then this was one of my favorite parts of the entire drawing, just from a relaxation standpoint. This marker, this Crayola Super Tips marker goes on so smoothly. Oh my gosh, it just glides along the paper. And that's probably because I just came off of using the Copic and this is Bristol board paper or Bristol. Next I'm using the Stadler Fine Liner and here I'm outlining her top to make it stand out more. And after that, I used all these markers on the shorts so far. So I made her denim shorts look kind of like mine. I didn't put all the buttons down the front. So after using this Stabilo marker, I went in with a little bit of water on a paintbrush to fade that out. Next, another colored pencil. I'm using a really dark one. I can't see if this is Crayola or Prisma. What the heck? <laughs> My fingers are blocking it. Either way, it's the darkest shade um, so I think it's the green blue Crayola if I'm correct, but I just went over some of the outlines again to find her lips finally Gave her more shadows in the nose And I also did outline the moon and then I'm going to do something that really didn't have much of an effect But I don't know at least I know it's there I guess so I used this tulip fabric paint It's a dimensional fabric paint. So I brushed that on the moon Maybe if I built it up in multiple layers, you would be able to tell more but anyway Moving on now to outlining all the flowers. So those stand out a little bit more. And the final thing I did with this illustration is I used a Crayola crayon. And this is old school. I actually got this from the previous owner of the house I moved into. She was selling basically everything and she had this old box of crayons. I'm like, can I please have these? And they're like 50 cents, I think. I just wanted to give kind of like a mist behind the flowers. Oh, and by the way, I used 25 different art supplies total. I know there's only 24 on this page, but I forgot to add the watercolor paint on there. So there should be 25 total. I did skip a few. I didn't want chalky powder from the uh, chalk pastel to come off and some of them are just like too similar to others or too green or too blue and I just didn't include them. So hopefully you're not disappointed by that. If you guys have any tips for me, any requests for future art videos or DIYs, crafty videos, anything you wanna see, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I almost said description box, but yeah, check out the description box for other video links to cool things that I've done in the past. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And also, if you never want to miss a new video, I do upload usually twice a week. Please subscribe, join the family, click the bell notifications. A couple other cool videos will be posted there and in the iCard as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you very soon. Bye!